Hey guys, it's Pure Venom here, going to be bringing you guys a YouTube tutorial on how to do uh, Surface Pro 3 Intel driver install uh, so that you don't have to worry about, you know, the Windows install for their updates for the Intel driver. So this update was uh, as of April 29th, 2016. The driver set that you're going to want to download is the 64-bit Windows 10 uh, and you want the zip file. You do not want the .exe file. It will not work on the Surface Pro. So I already have it down here. I'm gonna bring it up. I already unzipped it for everybody. So this is what it's gonna look like in here. Don't use the setup tool because the setup tool just does not work. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into device manager. You're gonna right click. You're gonna say update driver set. You're gonna browse the computer. You're gonna say, let me pick the drivers. After that, then you're going to go and choose hard disk. It's then gonna bring up the basic install disk. What you're going to want to do is get out of your system 32 file and go to wherever you downloaded it at. So when you click on downloads, you're going to go to the win drivers. All you're going to do is go choose the graphic drivers and then you're going to choose this right here. We're going to hit open. We're going to hit OK. It's then going to give me the install package for what I need. I'm going to then hit next. It's going to start installing my drivers. This typically takes a minute or two. The screen may flicker here. Um, I'm hoping that it does not uh, because the big thing is is that I'm recording this on a second computer um, and I don't have the ability of cutting out certain things. So while this is installing, the big uh, the other thing is is that, well, of course you can't do anything with, with that, but if you did want, you can actually update your display audio drivers. Typically, I leave those to whatever Windows left. Big thing is, it does nothing for me. Um, it's still continuing its update, so we're not missing anything on this end here. This takes a couple minutes and typically um, will require a restart. There you go. There's the black screen. We should hopefully see it here and just come back in a minute, what it's doing. So it's installing the actual physical Intel driver, what we need. This is actually going to help a lot of Surface Pro 3 owners with uh, battery consumption, also with the fan. So we've got the driver successfully updated. This is the most recent driver for Windows 10, so we don't have to worry about any other issues. So let's close out of everything. We're gonna pull up, as you can see, I have the Surface Pro drivers were literally right here. All I have to do is pull up my uh, properties and then go into the uh, display adapters. Uh, you can see that I have my basic uh, internal display. Also, you can see that I'm capturing off my Elgato um, and that I can actually choose whatever resolution that I would like. Um, typically it just sits at whatever it wants. I could honestly care less what it goes to because the Elgato can only capture at 1080p anyways. Also, I do have a 4K display that I do hook up to this guy. I have to change out the cables. I wanted to see if this driver was going to help with the 30 hertz refresh rate that I've been getting on my Dell monitor. But after that, you pretty much get everything else that's here. Um, one of the things that I did notice, and this is going to be, I believe, in it's a power setting. Here it is. So you go into power setting, and what you're going to want to do um, is on battery, you're going to want to disable panel refresh and then also refresh switching. Reasons why you actually get a flicker. On the Surface Pro 3. The Pro 4 does not have this issue, um, but I let every uh, everybody know ahead of time to turn these off uh, because you actually get a little bit better battery life, the fans don't kick up as much, and that makes life a little bit easier on everybody else. So I'm going to just apply that. But this is a real quick video that I had. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys do want more videos on the Surface Pro 3, definitely let me know. Uh, I do it. Is same. It's the same way with the Surface Pro 4, the exact way that I showed you guys. I'll have everything down in the description below, but please like, subscribe, definitely help me out. Also, go to my uh, Facebook page because that's where you're going to get all the most recent updates of things. So definitely, that's going to be where you want to go and get everything. My YouTube page, I try to get as much information as I can. But you guys have a great one.